Hello, welcome to Pilates Network. And today um, we're going to go in what I call an old school Mary class. So when I first started teaching um, Pilates Network, um, I taught with all the props um, in one class. So that usually meant um, I taught with a ring and a band um, in the same class. So we're going to be doing that today. So you'll need a ring and a band. And if you are someone that needs that little bit of cushion and support um, in the low back, when you're doing your roll-ups and roll-downs, um, you can bring in whatever little support you need, a hand towel, a little folded up mat, whatever it is that you need. Otherwise, we will go ahead and get started. So sitting up nice and tall. Now I'm going to turn to the side just so you can see form a little bit better here when we get going. And so once you get situated, try to be nice and tall with your shoulders and hips in alignment. You've got some length in the spine. You can always sit up on a um, block or a blanket or a pillow if you need that. But I don't want to lengthen the spine so much that I flatten out the natural curvature. So I want to kind of keep that. So I'm zipping up nice and tight. And I'm going to let that chin come to the chest. And coming back center, good. Left ear, left shoulder. And if you need something a little bit different, remember you can always just take that chin down a little bit. You can move it up a little bit, kind of finding your sweet spot. You can also take that right hand and walk it out. You can reach, left hand can come up, come right above the ear. You're letting gravity give you the stretch though, so there's no pulling or tugging. And once you're ready, we'll come back up. Good. Now, right ear, right shoulder. And again, you can kind of move around here, finding your best spot. And then once you're ready, if you want to, you can walk the left fingertips out. You can extend that arm long. Maybe right hand comes up right above the left ear, giving you a nice stretch here. and releasing and coming back to center. Keeping your chest and shoulders forward without moving them, taking your chin to the right and then to the left. Good. From here, when you're ready, just get some nice shoulder rolls in other direction. Good, let's take the arms up, big inhale, exhale. I'm gonna take my right hand down, so I want my shoulder and my hips to be in alignment and coming over, and you can go as deep as it would feel good to you. Both the bones are rooted. And then we'll come back up and reach and take that to the other side, reaching over, avoiding a shoulder collapse towards the front here. So really open up. And coming up, good, now we'll do that again. I'm gonna come over, you can stay here, you can choose to open to the back, or you can choose to tilt the pelvis back, be curving forehead in the direction of the knee, but not touching. And I'm really reaching here. Opening up to the side, moving through center, go right into the other side. Good. So again, you choose to open up to the back, or you can find that C curve roll forehead in the direction of the knee, but not touching. And opening up and coming back. Last thing we're gonna do here, big inhale. We're gonna rotate to the right, bringing arms down, rolling shoulders back, looking behind you, getting that nice stretch all along here. We're sitting up nice and tall, switching from length as best as we can. It's especially important if you've got a back issue. And we'll come up and we'll rotate to the other side. Arms come down, rolling shoulders back, looking behind you. Expanding the ribcage. And then we'll come up and come to center. Good. Now, I'm going to turn back towards you. Okay. And we're going to go into a little bit of breathing here. 
You can kind of take your hands on your rib cage or even your belly, or better yet, kind of take them to where the heels of the hands are kind of on the rib cage and fingers are on the belly. Relaxing the shoulders. As you inhale, can you expand, trying to separate the hands a little bit, and then exhale, could you bring them back together? Inhale. Exhale. Good, now inhale through the nose. Exhale. And you don't have to be as loud as I am, but exhaling through the mouth like that engages the abs a little bit more. Um, you don't hear me do that a lot during class because I have to talk um, and I can't breathe like that while I'm talking, but um, you can breathe that way and get that aligned. So just know that that's kind of what we're going for as best as we can. Let's grab the strap. Let's get a little bit into the shoulders here. Strap or band, I've got a stretchy band and I've got a medium tension band. Um, it doesn't really matter maybe for the purposes of what we're doing now, um, no more than medium. Heavy might be a little bit intense, but um, threading, the threading this to the fingers of the pointer and the thumb, good. just kind of take that up, take it back and forward. Good. Now your arms should be able to stay long here. You've got a stretchy band. Um, you can take a wider grip if you need to, and you just move at your range of motion. Good. Now from here, I'm going to come in just a little bit, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Good. So I'm going to reach. I'm going to come up. I'm going to come over to my right. I've got my thumb up here or both thumbs are up, my elbow is shoulder height, I'm going to look at my target, and I'm going to pull, just like I'm firing a bow and arrow, and release, and pull, pull, really squeeze that shoulder blade, pull, pull, and pull, and we'll come up, we'll take that to the other side, find your target, elbow is lifted, and pull, 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 let's go again. So you make this harder with a more um, heavier band. You can always choke up a little bit once you get here too. And when you're ready, pull, pull, pull with control, pull, pull, and coming back up. And here we go, elbow is lifted. And pull, 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 and pull. Release that band. Let's come to all four. Let's continue to open up a little bit here. So spreading the fingers nice and wide, reading through the knuckles of pinky, quarter, and thumb. Tops of the feet will be down. Knees are under the hips. They can be slightly wider if you've got a crazy low back. We will want a nice flat back here so we don't want to just collapse. Okay? We're protracted. We're pushing the floor away. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Take it into the cow. Exhale and cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good. Coming back. And I'm just going to look to one side and then the other. And one side and then the other. When you are ready, we're going to take this into some hip circles. So, what we're going to do here is you're just going to kind of move in a circle. Belly button is in. We're just loosening up the hips a little bit. And then once you're ready, yeah, we'll reverse that. Moving with the breath. Good. And then once you're ready, coming back center. Good. Let's take this into opposite arm leg balance. We'll start on the right side. Pressing that right foot back. Big toe and pinky toe mound. Pressing away. I'm pushing in and forward into my mat here. And I'm going to let that right hip drop slightly. So the pelvis is more even to the floor. And then once you're ready, I'm going to come up. Get a little bit or hip height. You just want to avoid that dip. Good. So be nice and strong. We're reaching left arm forward. Good. And we breathe. Big inhale. Exhale. Taking that belly button in. Inhale. Exhale. One more time to get inhale. And taking that down. 
come back, decompress, and we will go into the other side. So from here, getting that nice stretch on that left side, big toe, pinky toe, mount are anchored, dropping that left hip slightly, pressing back. Belly button is in nice and tight. And then once you're ready, good, we'll come forward. Take your lift where you're gonna take it. Right arm comes forward, we're breathing here, big inhale. Exhale. Engaging a little deeper. Inhale. Again, inhale. And taking that down. Coming back, decompress. And once you're ready, we're going to come onto our back here. To our back here. I'm just going to come this way. And once you come down there, if it would feel good to you, so just kind of take the feet a little bit wider. Belly button's going to be in. Just get that nice little windshield wiper here side to side. And we're going to go into pelvic tilting and pelvic claw. Pelvic tilting and pelvic claw. So from here, good. I'm going to bring my feet about hip width apart. And remember when we do the, uh, the pelvic tilting and the claw. So not pressing into the feet and we're not pressing squeezing into the glute. We're using the abs to do the movement of the pelvis. So I'm gonna take my arms out to the side so you, just so you can better see here. But in my neutral spine, my tailbone is heavy and anchored. I want my rib cage, low well, rib cage to be heavy and anchored. And I've got a little space in the small part of my back. You might not, and that's okay. Um, but that's where my neutral spine is. So my pubic bone and my hip bone, we're in a nice even plank. So one end is not higher than the other. So I'm zipping up nice and tight from pubic bone to behind the navel. I want to feel this right below the navel. So deep, deep transverse abdominus work. And then once you're ready, good. Going into a posterior tilt, I'm taking the pubic bone up. So I'm rocking the hip bones back. I'm closing any space that may be back here, but I'm not jamming the low back into the mat. And then I'm going to rock it forward, maybe creating a little bit more space. There's your anterior tilt. And then I'm just going to take a few rounds here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And come back center. So going into a pelvic clock, so if you want to envision your pelvis as a clock face, your belly button being 12 o'clock, like you're looking down on the clock, your pubic bone is 6 o'clock, your left hip bone is going to be your 3, and your right hip bone is going to be your 9, okay? So I'm going to cue this two different ways. I'm going to cue it by number, and then I'm going to cue it by up, down, left, and right. Okay, so then again, this is really zipped up. Belly button is in. If you're doing this motion, you're not connected enough. It should look like to me, if I were watching you, um, like you're barely moving. And so if you're watching me, it's going to look like I'm barely moving, even though I've got a deep, deep core connection. And I know that I'm moving because I can feel that movement. Okay, so it's very strong, very deep, but also a little subtle. So zipping up nice and tight. Good. We're going to take it to the 12, the belly button. Good. Now, we're going to take it to the 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, left, forward, right, down. You're back. Good. And left, forward, Right, back, good, and keep going one more time, and come back, good, wiggle through there, we're going to do that again, we're going to counterclockwise, so we're zipping up, taking it back to the 12, and we'll go 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, 
up, right, down, left, up, rock forward and back. Knees into the chest, maybe if you need that. Let's take this into bridges. So our first bridge we're gonna do without any props. The second bridge we're gonna do, we're gonna use the ring. So maybe have that ring handy. So hips, knees, and toes are gonna crack. I'm rolling shoulders back. Building on that principle of the tilting, so we're gonna rock the pelvis back, healing up bone by bone. I'm pressing into the feet, shoulders, and arms. Good. Hips, knees, and toes are cracking. And then I'm gonna lower from the mid back, through the rib cage, through the lumbar, through the sacrum, and back to safe neutral. We'll go again, rocking back through the sacrum, through the lumbar, through the rib cage, through the mid back, and lowering from the mid back, through the rib cage, through the lumbar, the sacrum, and back to safe neutral. Now, if that's what you need to do, stay with that. Otherwise, we're gonna work on the outside line here. So I'm gonna take my feet on the inside of this ring. Good. I'm gonna have that ring right in the center part of my chin. And I, from the hip, I'm pressing into that ring a little bit, okay? So from here, everything else is the same now, zipping up, rocking back, peeling up, bone by bone. And then I'm gonna roll down bone by bone. Good. I'm gonna bring my feet in just a little bit closer. Okay, it's okay if the ring touches you. Rocking it back, peeling up bone by bone. And rolling down bone by bone. Let's do one more. Rocking back, here, get that light pressure into the ring. While we're up here, let's press to the outside. Let's go five, four, Three, two, one, pause. Again, last time. Five, four, three, two, one. And we'll lower that down. Woo, that got intense really quick. Bend the knee and remove that ring. And we will wiggle, wiggle, wiggle here. Let's go into some chest lifts here, chest lifts here. So because we're gonna go into hundreds with the band, um, after chest lift, I'm going to go ahead and just bring my band in to my chest lift. I'm folding my band in half. I'm still threading through the pointer and the thumb. I've got a little bit of a taut grip here just so I don't want any flat. Good. Zipping up, big inhale. Exhale, nod the chin. Good. I'm pulling and tugging on that strap as I reach forward. Good. And then I'm going to lift as I lower that down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, nod the chin. Really coming up. See if you can touch the thighs. Lifting up and lowering that back down. But this sec next time, take feet into tabletop position. Knees over the hips and parallel to the floor. Inhale, exhale. Bring it up, reach. Maybe tap the chin. Coming up and lowering that back down. We'll go again. Big inhale, exhale. Reaching up, maybe tapping, coming up, and coming down. Now, relax your feet, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hundreds with the band. You can do a couple different things here. If you're going to have your feet in tabletop with the band, then I'm going to suggest you take your bands around the back of your calf muscles. You'll cross at the top. It doesn't matter which side's on top or not. Your legs are going to be together here. And then you're going to come here, maybe a rat, maybe not. And this is where you're going to be. You don't want to do this if you're using the band here. Okay. Those of you that are going to use the band with legs long, same thing. I'm going to cross, bring my feet in here. Make sure the band is flat so it does not move. And I'm actually going to take my heels into this band just a little bit. Good. And then I'm going to cross over. Good. Legs are going to be together here. Coming down. Good. And then I'm going to prepare my grip for my hundred. So from here, inhale. Exhale. Take your legs where you're going to take off. Are they long? Are you going to use the band or not? Are they bent? And when you're ready, start pumping. 
And we inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift up higher. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale, reach deeper. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale, hold. Lift the chest higher, reach deeper through the arms and the legs, and take that down. Woo. Remove that band if you use it, and we will wiggle, wiggle, wiggle side to side. From here, rolling over to your side and coming up. Good. Going into roll downs and roll up. So if you are more of a beginner or have some issue where um, the full um, is not your jam today, you can do this. Knees bent. You can hold on. You're going to see curve as you go back. You can actually take this all the way back with the bent knees as well. And maybe you just go to your point of fit full and come back up. You can do the same thing. Arms long, going all the way back or part way. And same thing with legs long. You can go part way here and come up or you can go all the way back. So I need a little bit of support in my low back. So I'm just going to... Place that there. I'm going to give this a test. That feels good. Good. And come up. So from here, we're going to bring the ring in. And if you don't have a ring, um, this one, this just gives you just a little tiny engagement here um, from the shoulder. Um, but obviously, you can certainly do this without the ring. What you don't want to do is doing whip ups. And that's the same thing even without the ring. So you're going to try to roll down here. You're going to go to your limit. And you're going to roll up. So I'm gonna hold my ring. I've got a light, light pressure. I'm not wrapping my hands. I've got them, or fingers. I've got them nice and tall. Big inhale, exhale. Tilting the pelvis back. Looping in that belly button as I roll down, bone by bone. I'm gonna take my arms back. Let's take this up. Let's press one, two, three. Inhale, exhale. Rolling up through center and rounding forward. So if you're trying, having some trouble rolling down, remember we don't roll over to the side and use the elbow, that's cheating. You wanna try to roll up through center um, and you wanna try to get to a point where your legs don't pop up. So um, try, try some support back here um, and it might help you a lot. Good, and we'll go again. My spine didn't feel the way it was at my 30 year old self. Um, when I injured um, myself here. So good. My little padding has made all the difference in the world. Not just with confidence. And I'm going to keep that C-curve scoop and I'm going to change my grip here to go back. But just with better form. And less struggle. Inhale. Exhale. And coming forward. And from here, we'll come up. Good. Hold your ring. And we will press. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay. So from here, we're going to go into our series of five. I'm just going to put that ring to the side. I'm going to put my padding to the side here. And coming back onto the back. So single straight leg stretch. Remember, there's no rotation. Both hips stay anchored. Inhale. Exhale coming up. Good. Right knee is in, left leg is long. I'm pulling in and I'm reaching long with that leg. That's the stretch. And here's one. And two. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. I believe this is five. Six. Seven. And eight. And bringing that down. Single straight leg stretch. Good. From here, I'm going to come up. I'm going to grab as high as I can grab of that right leg. Left leg again is going to come into the hover. And from here, pulse, pulse, switch. Pulse the leg you're grabbing, not the leg that's reaching long. Pulse, pulse, switch. And two. Inhale on transition. Could you lift a little higher? Wow. 
last one and taking that count. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Double leg stretch. I'm going to come up and then exhale. And let's do this with um, Pilates V. Pilates V. So your knees are going to start um, at shoulder width apart. Your heels are connected. Those knees and hips are turning away. So coming up. And here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And bringing that down. Good. Get any little break breaks so that you need double straight leg stretch. I'm going to take my legs back up. I'm going to keep that Pilates V. Upper body can stay grounded. You can be in a lift here. Um, you choose what you need to do. And once you're ready, good, zipping up. I'm going to be lower today. You're going to inhale on the lower. Exhale and lift. Bottom stays ground. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale for three. Four. Five. Six. Wide to the collarbone. Seven. And eight. Woo. Bringing that back in. We've got one more. A stretch is coming, I promise. Knees in tabletop position for crisscross. Hands are going to be behind the head. Hips are still grounded on the floor, even though you are rotating. If you lead with the shoulder, you're going to get more effective rotation for the oblique, that waistline. So try not to take your elbow over here. Lead with that shoulder. So here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And taking that down. Woo. Let's get a little um, twisty here. Knees and tabletop, arms to the side. Let those knees come to the right. Trying to keep left shoulder grounded. As you look to the left, breathe and expand. And once you're ready, head back to center, using your abs or one leg back at the center at the time. Reset. We'll take those knees to the left, look to the right, right shoulder grounded. Breathe and expand. When you're ready, good. We're going to come back to center. Good. Grab your band. And we're going to do some stretches and circles here. So the band provides resistance when we do our circle. So I'm going to put the band around the right foot. I want the band to be flat around that right foot. And I want equal part band to be off each side. Your left knee can be bent or extended long. Do what feels good to your back. And remember, um, you do have a stretchy band here. So Feel free to take whatever grip that works for you. And I'm just going to bring this leg back. I'm going to take a lower grip here. There we go. And taking arms back. Good. So even though I'm here, my low rib cage is still grounded. My tailbone is grounded. I've got a micro bend in that right knee. I've got no pain, numbness, tingling, or burning in this right leg. So if you feel those sensations, you want to back off until you don't. And you don't have to take your hands behind the head. You can always just pull straight down here as well. That's why I said find the grip that works for your body. And we'll come up. Both pieces of the band into the right hand. Belly button is in. Taking that right leg out to the right. Both hips stay grounded. Wiggle around. Find your sweet spot. You're ready. We'll take this up. We'll take it over. Ooh, tighter side. And wiggle around. Find your sweet spot here. 
finding that IT band stretch all along here. So if you do a lot of walking or running as exercise, this is a very important series for you. We've got tight hips, a tight low back. This is a good series for you. And then from here when you're ready. Good, now I'm gonna separate. I'm gonna pull down so my elbows are on the floor. Good, my belly button is in. And I'm gonna take big circles, but you can take small ones um, if that's where your control needs to be. Both hips stay grounded, they don't wiggle. And I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and reverse, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. And then once you're ready, we will switch out our feet, making sure that band is flat. Equal part band on both sides. You can have a bend in that right knee or that leg can be long. Find the grip that suits your body on this side. Find your strut. Belly button is in. Micro bend that knee. You want no pain, them that's tingling or burning anywhere. Your belly button stays in. We're staying with that breath. You don't have to shh with this one, but you do want to breathe. And once you're ready, We'll release both bands into the left hand. Find the grip that's appropriate. Taking that left leg out to the left. Wiggle around. Find your sweet spot. Not everybody's is directly out to the side. Some people need to be closer to the feet or closer to the shoulder. Both hips grounded. And once you're ready, we'll bring that up. Good, switching out the hands, arcing over, wiggle around, find your best spot. And when you're ready, okay, we're gonna come back up. Good, find the grip that you need for your circles. Good, and we'll do um, six in each direction. So once you're ready, here we go, six, Five, four, don't forget band stays flat. Three, two, and one, and reverse. One, two, three, four, Five and six. And once you're ready, remove that foot from the band. Good. From here, you can sit on your hands if you want to. You don't have to. You can always have your arms up to the side. For this particular exercise, I like to have my hands under there. Um, I have a little bit more pelvic control when I do that. But I'm going to take my legs up and we're going to do double leg circles here. The belly button is in, kind of like an infinity sign. So I'm going to take this out, come up, and there we go. Well, if you're not sure what the infinity sign is, it's like a uh, sideways figure eight. Good. And then from here, go right into the circles. Belly button stays in. Okay. And reverse. Really exhale. On the lift. Good. And bend those knees into the chest. Once you're ready, we're going to roll like a ball to transition. So if you can't do that, roll over to your side. You can grab behind or your shin. And once you're ready, good. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. And six. 
Could you find the balance? Could you find a boat? Ooh, long spine in the boat. You can let go of your boat if you want. And when you're ready, taking that back down. So taking the legs forward. Good. I'm gonna use my ring again here. Just something to hold on to for spine stretch forward. Spine stretch forward. And I'm gonna hold it this way. So I'm peeling off an imaginary wall here. So I'm gonna nod the chin. I'm rounding. I'm scooping in that belly button as I do that. I'm reaching forward. As I reach forward, I'm going to lift and lengthen. And then I'm going to brown as I stack and come back up. And I've got a light pressure in my ring here. Inhale, exhale, nodding, scooping, peeling off that wall bone by bone, going to your limit. Once you're at the limit, see if you can find the extension. And then rounding. Coming back up one more time. Inhale, exhale, nodding, scooping, 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 lengthen, and rounding, 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 coming all the way back up to a nice tall sit. I'm going to put this to the side. Okay. From here, hands to the back of the head. Press the head into the hands, not hands into the head. Relax the shoulders, elbows are out. Hips stay grounded, and we're going to rotate to the right and left, and right and left, and inhale. Good, coming back, we'll side bend. We'll leave the hands right here. So you're squeezing the low rib cage and the top of the hip, following it together as best as you can. Good, finding breath. And notice how this version of it with your hands behind the head feels different than if you were going to take your arms long. I feel a little bit more of a stretch when I have my hands here than when my arms are long, but I love both of them. So coming into stall, we're going to put those principles together. I'm going to rotate. Good. I'm going to round and reach. I'm going to stack back together. Inhale. Inhale. Good. And take it up. You can take it lower. You can take it a little bit quicker as long as you're in good form. If going a little bit quicker causes you to lose form, you need to slow that down. And last time. And coming up and taking that down. Good. From here, bring in your band. We're going to do some seated rows. Good. So I've got those that band right around my feet. It's nice and flat. I want equal part band off each side. You can wrap once if you want to, but I'm going to sit nice and tall. I'm going to lift my arms a little bit. Elbows stay in tight and in, in tight towards the body. And I'm going to pull, squeezing those shoulders and release. And pull and release. And pull. Let's do single arm with rotation. Pull and rotate. And back to center, other side. Pull and rotate and center. Pull and rotate and center. Pull and rotate and center. One more time. Pull and rotate and center. Pull and rotate and center. Good. Let's go into bicep curls. You can sit up here, turning palms up and curl here. Or you can lean back a little bit. Nice long spine. Feet on the floor. And here we go, our curls. We'll go one. Whoops, that's too much. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And come forward. You can fold forward if that's okay for you. We're going to put this band to the side. We're going to grab our ring. We're going to do a little side series. It's going to be an abbreviated side series. We're just going to do a couple things here. We're going to start. I'm going to be on my left side. So I'm going to take my left leg in here. I'm right up above from the ankle, so I don't want my ankle to be on this part. And I'm gonna take my leg, other leg, the right leg on the inside. I'm rocking my hip forward, so I'm on the hip bone and I'm not back here on the glute. You can be on the forearm, you can be on the elbow, you can be down here, this is where I'm gonna be. Good, toes, knees, and hips point forward from the hip, belly button is in, and we're gonna press one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Press hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Take that top leg to the top. Good. Again, make sure you're not on the ankle. And here we go. From the hip, we're going to press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Press hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Good. We're going to take that ring. We're going to come onto our back. We're going to do some lat presses here. So um, right here, I'm going to take my hands to the top. I'm not pressing in yet. So I'm lifting up. Shoulders away from the ears. Belly button is in. Feet stay down. Press eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press hold. Five, four. Three, two, one, and release. Good. You can wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We're going to take the side series to the other side. So I'm just going to come up and do that so my back is not to you. Good. So now it's going to be your right leg is going to be the lower leg. We'll have that ring handle right up above the ankle. Good. We'll start on the inside first. Good. Again, you're on your hip bones. You're not back here on the glute. So everything's pointing forward. Good. Try to have your arm position here, your base arm position, the same way that you had it on the other side. So you train as evenly as possible. And when you're ready, here's eight, seven, six from the hip. Five, four, three, two, one. Press hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And we'll take that out. Good. Taking that in from the hip, we're going to press eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. Good. You can release this ring and put it to the side. Come back onto your belly. Good. So from here, once you're ready, some of you are just going to find a baby swan, like a little bit of a cobra. Others are going to go into the full swan series with me, which will include um, full swan, swan dive, and swan rocker. So from here, once you're ready, rolling shoulders back, belly button is in. Good. We're going to go one. Shoulders stay away from the ears. Two. Three, no crunching in the spine. And four. You have to be able to do high swan to be able to do swan rocker. Otherwise, when you're ready, we go one, two, three, four, and rock. One, two, three, four. And hands under the shoulders, press back, child pose. From here, before we go into plank, let's get a little bit of tricep work. So I'm going to take my band. I'm going to thread it between the pointer and the thumb. We're going to come to all fours. So I'm going to start on my left side first. So I've got my band flattened down here with my uh, left or right hand. Good. And then from here, get wherever your grip needs to be is where you're going to take it. But elbow is in. Tricep kick back. Belly button is in. And we'll go one. Two, elbow doesn't move. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Same thing for the other side. So I'm going to anchor that down with the left hand. Good. Right elbow comes up. Elbow stays in tight to the body. And here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. We'll place that band to the side. From here, find your 
plank. So maybe your knees down and you're finding your length here. Maybe you're up high. Maybe you want to be on forearms today. That's always acceptable. Find your plank. Push the floor away. You're protracted in the shoulders. Chest can come a little bit longer wherever you are. And we're holding and belly button is in. And we're nice and strong here. And then from here, when you're ready, good, we'll drop that down. Child's pose. Find your push up position in the way that you need to do your push ups. We're going to do chesty one. So elbows and everything are going to turn in just a little bit. So you can be on all fours here. It'll look like this for you. You can take your knees back a little bit, knees down, and come here, or you can be up high. You choose where you need to be. Halfway down is all you need. And we're going to do five. And here we go. Five, four, three, woo, two, and one. Taking that down, child pose. Woo. Let's get a little bit of stretches in here. So I'm going to come back up. I'm going to take my right or my left foot forward. Good. Good. I want this whole foot to be grounded. I'm going to lean in here. So I'm getting this nice hip flexor stretch on the right side. Good. My left hip is back just a little bit. My belly button is in. If it's safe for you to reach up, reach up. Good. Right hand's going to bend down. Pat yourself on the back. Left hand grabs that right elbow. Tricep stretch. Taking that right arm across, left arm comes underneath the right forearm. Shoulder stretch. And release. Good. We're going to switch sides. So right foot's going to come forward. Good. Remember, whole foot stays grounded. And we'll come in. Right hip can come back a little bit. Belly button stays in. We're still breathing. And then if it's safe, we'll come up. Good. We'll get that tricep stretch on the left side. We'll take that arm across. The right arm's going to come underneath. Shoulder stretch. And coming out of there. Coming to a seat. Sitting however you want to sit. Taking arms to the side. Palms are down. Turn them up. Good, now turn them behind you. So there's your bicep stretch. Let's get one more side bend in here before we go. So big inhale and reach. Exhale, side bend over to the left. Reaching long, reaching long from fingertips all the way down to that hip. And coming back center, other side, reaching. And coming back up. Way to go. You made it through an old school Mary class with several props. I hope you had a great workout. Always know you can always um, add um, less or more tension with your band and get a different workout every time. So different ones um, are certainly recommended to have. And I hope to see you again really, really soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.